All right, and we are still on the record in the matter of Brenda Austin, 23820. Good morning, Your Honor. Christopher Shemke, we're here my client's time. We are ready to proceed. Good morning. All right, good morning. All right, ma'am, your name for the record, please. Brenda Austin. All right, thank you. Today is the date scheduled for a probation violation. Um, your client is currently on probation for operating, I'm sorry, malicious destruction of property. She was sentenced June 27th. It's under 771.1 at this point. She had a probation violation here in August 14th, where she pled not guilty. We scheduled for today's date. And counsel, you indicated that a hearing is not going to be necessary. And so then the court um, excused Ms. Walker and Ms. Ingham. That's is that accurate. correct? Yes. Okay. All right. And so counsel, what is happening today? Your Honor, I've gone through my client's rights to have a hearing in which you can contest the technical violations. Uh, we had a dialogue regarding uh, the nature of her tests. It's my understanding that she's not going to contest the results, uh, but we do have an explanation. Ma'am, please raise your right hand. You saw me swear from the testimony about to give this going to be the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Yes. All right. And... All right, ma'am, and you understand that the, here are the allegations. It's alleged you test a positive for alcohol July 17th, August 2nd, and August 15th, correct? I didn't know. I didn't know. No, I only know of one. Counsel, did you get the um, updated one as yes, well? Yes, Your Honor, from... the original was uh, July 17th, and then I got one indicating uh, August 2nd. And August 15th. And yes, that's correct, August 15th. Okay. All right. And so, ma'am, those are the allegations. And um, as to those allegations, how do you plead? Not guilty. Uh, well, yeah. if you're going to plead not guilty, that means well, that you're going to contest the results. But we had a dialogue regarding the nature of why it came back positive. So, oh, in that's the right. I'm sorry. <clears throat> okay, ma'am. Only one can speak at a time because they're of the recording. Okay. So, um, <clears throat> I don't know. Did I swear you in? Yeah. I did. You were the right hand? Yes. yes. Okay. <laughs> Typically, this changes on my screen, so I didn't change it. I wasn't. <clears throat> okay. And, ma'am, as to those allegations, how do you plead? Guilty. You've gone over your advice of rights for probation violation purposes with your attorney, correct? Correct. And you understand all of those rights? Yes. You also signed this document today, explaining those rights. Yes. And you read or reviewed that document prior to signing it. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you also understand by entering into a plea, you'll be, you will be waiving some of those rights, specifically some of your rights to a contested hearing. Yes. And you also understand the possible penalty as a result of your plea, correct? Yes. And Specifically, the recommendation, that's kind of a combined, a combined recommendation at this point, where the recommendation is for you to continue to complete all terms of probation, have your under advisement status revoked, 50 dollars probation violation fee, 10 days jail, 30 days on the alcohol tether upon release from jail, and increased testing. And you understand that's a recommendation? Yes. And knowing all that, you still want to continue with your plea? Yes. Has anybody promised you anything, threatened you, or coerced you in any way for you to enter into a plea? No. All right, counsel, if you can please board your your plan. Yes, I'd like to direct your yep. attention back to July 17th of 2023. As term condition of your probation, you were ordered to test. Are you, You're not contesting that the test on the 17th indicated alcohol in your system, is that correct? Yes. And then furthermore, you were ordered to test on August 2nd and August 15th, and you're not contesting that the test results came back positive for alcohol. Is that accurate? Yes. Satisfied, Your Honor. The court is also satisfied with knowing, voluntary, and factually accurate. 
The court will accept your plea. The probation violations indicate substance of violations one, two, and three. And counsel asked for the recommendation. You know, and I had a dialogue with my client and uh, we were able to pinpoint the, um, the positive test. It's my understanding that she had been um, sick and we reviewed what sort of medicine she was taking. Uh, she was taking Robitussin at the time. I did have an opportunity to review what she took. I did some research and Robitussin does indicate the use of alcohol. Judge, this case, it stemmed from a malicious destruction of property, if I'm not mistaken, Judge. I mean, the fact that she's even testing, I can't tell you as to the police report if alcohol or drugs were a, um, a condition. Sure or was. All right. So that would reflect why she's being tested. But Judge, uh, she's done extremely well on probation. I uh, had a dialogue with her and she indicated that she's not... She wasn't drinking alcohol. She was not uh, trying to uh, sidestep her responsibilities to the court. Um, I did indicate to her that she is absolutely responsible for everything that goes in her system. In this circumstance, Judge, I would respectfully request that she have a jail review hearing. Uh, obviously, I would uh, anticipate testing to be increased, but uh, she does have a unique opportunity to have this not go under criminal history. I'd ask for one final opportunity for her to be in full compliance, to maintain her 771.1 and not go into custody today. Obviously, any future violations, whether uh, based on intent or accidents, she would anticipate there being uh, strict uh, consequences to those actions. So at this time, Judge, I would be respectfully requesting leniency uh, in this matter. Thank you, Judge. Okay. Thank you. Ma'am, what's happening with your matter out of the 20th District Court for operating under the influence of alcohol? Oh, I I am I have not even called uh both of those courts that why not? I'm trying to take care of this first. Ma'am, I, I have specifically or stop. I specifically ordered you to clear up your warrants. Right. To contact I, those courts to clear up your warrants. I I'm going to, but I need to get this taken care of too. So I'm trying to do everything, not all at once. You have two warrants for your arrest, ma'am. I can take you into custody right now because I, you're not taking, you're not taking care of those. I know, ma'am. I just didn't know what I should do first. I'm I'm doing everything else that I'm supposed to do. Which is what? And um, I started my substance treatment. I've been um, every time I call um, to go take a test, I go. I haven't missed nothing. Um, I'm starting my community service next Friday at the Brownstown Animal Shelter. I've reported to my probation. I've been paying my fines and fees. You know, I can't, I don't have enough money to take care of everything all at once. Ma'am, you don't need money to clear up your warrants specifically, right? Okay. You need to, you may or may not, you need to contact the courts to find out if you're going to need any money to clear up your warrants. Okay. set up a court date. Okay. I thought I would have to pay or something, and I just didn't want to get in over my head. But you don't know unless you call. True. And so you want me to believe that all three of these dates that you use Robitussin. I have not drank an ounce of alcohol since April. And that's the truth. And I don't take any other medications. I, you know, I, I drink Diet Coke. So well, let's see. So you take Robitussin on a regular basis? I've been taking Robitussin for the last two and a half weeks. Okay. Well, I've been sick and it helps me sleep at night with my coughing. Okay. Well, that would, the 15th falls within those two and a half weeks. The 7th is falls outside of that and July 17th is way outside of that. That's the only thing that I can tell you, Your Honor. I I have not had nothing else. I don't, I, my diet hasn't changed or nothing. Well, your amounts would suggest Either you're drinking the entire bottle of Robitussin. No. Or you're drinking alcohol in some other form. And ma'am, you were also informed that if you, that you could not use any medications that contained alcohol. I did not, I did not know that, or I wouldn't have done it. Honestly, I'm not trying to, I'm trying to get myself taken care of, Your Honor. 
And I, did, I honestly didn't know. I'd been sick. I didn't know that I couldn't take cough medicine. Ma'am, that is absolutely not accurate because probation tells you and so does the testing facility. I didn't know I couldn't take cough medicine. Nobody, nobody told me I couldn't take cough medicine. I didn't know I, I couldn't take over-the-counter medicine. That's the truth. Or right, I wouldn't have done it. You didn't receive any sort of uh, paperwork that indicated? I did. I, did I, you read it? I, not all of it, no. Well, ma'am, that's unfortunate because that would have indicated additional an additional time that you cannot use any medication with alcohol unless there's something from your doctor with a prescription. Okay. I understand now. Yeah, you not reading the paperwork? I read some of it, but not all of it. Well, that is on you. I know. We have three positive tests. I do not believe for a moment that you use Robitussin all of those times, nor that you used enough that would register those positive numbers. I've only been taking that every night, at night for two and a half weeks. Okay. Well, what about I don't August 7th? I don't know, ma'am. I don't know, Your Honor. And July 17th? I don't know. And are you still working at the bar? Yes. People buy you shots? No, I'm not, I'm not allowed to drink at work. Have you been to any parties, any graduation no, parties? I haven't done nothing. I've just been working and I watch my grandkids and I'm trying to take care of my business. So if you're tested today, what's in your system? Nothing. Diet Coke and cough medicine. And so you're still taking it? I had to take some last night. I've been sick, Your Honor. Yeah. Take some that doesn't have alcohol. I did not know this until this morning when I spoke with my lawyer. That's the truth. I did not know. Ask, uh, for that. Hey, Your Honor, with yes, respect to the rest consideration yeah. for potentially an alcohol tether. With a spreadsheet. Grab that from Courtney, please. Okay. I'm sorry, what was that, counsel? There's an alternative to a jail uh, sentence at this time. We would ask that potentially an alcohol tether be a provision that would be a way to demonstrate to the court that she can be in full compliance. She seemed very sincere and contrite during my interview with her. I'd ask that she have one final opportunity to demonstrate full compliance, Judge. Well, counsel, she's had three. I mean, she's had many options, opportunities. And there's three, we have three positive violations to offer alcohol. And the level on the 15th of August was 573 nanograms per milliliter. And anything over 500 is concerned is confirmed positive. And the August 2nd, the ethyl sulfate, which is the um, metabolite, that was 2,900 nanograms per milliliter. And the July 17th was. 7,500 nanograms per milliliter. So ma'am, it absolutely was not Robitussin. I, I'm just, I'm not saying that it was, I'm just saying that's the only thing that I put in my body. I'm, I'm, I'm really trying to get my stuff taken care of here. And I, I don't know, I haven't done anything wrong, anything different. My diet hasn't changed, I don't know. I just been sick and taking cough medicine, that's all. That's all I can do. Well, and how much cough medicine are you drinking, ma'am? Just the recommend what it's on the back of the package. I take uh, the little cup full at night before I go to bed, so I don't cough. That does not seem to be the case. I'll do whatever you need me to do. I'll go and pee every day, whatever. I don't know what else to say.
hearing the truth would be a start. I, I, that's, I'm telling you the truth. I promise you. I have not drank since April. That's the truth. I, my diet hasn't changed. I've only been taking one for testing every since I've been sick. I have not done nothing else. I work and I have my grandkids. That's all I do. Well, ma'am, you were extremely intoxicated the date of this offense. You have a pending operating while intoxicated matter. And now you have three positive alcohol tests while you've been on probation and you've only been on probation for two months. And your numbers would suggest that it is more than Robitussin. Uh, and the number, the numbers are what they are. I, I don't know what to say, Your Honor. I, that's, that's all I've done. I don't do nothing else. I mean, I don't know what to, I don't know what to tell you. That's all. I don't do nothing else. Like, I'm 50 years old. I don't want to be dealing with this stuff. I want to work and take care of my grandkids. I haven't drank because of them and me. And I don't, I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. Okay. Okay. All right, counsel, I'm going to go off the record for just one moment. I need to grab some paperwork just for a moment. We are going back on the record in the matter of Fred Austin. The court, after uh, reviewing the recommendation, the results, the court is going to adopt the recommendations. The court's going to indicate five days jail. I'm going to lose my job. Ma'am, five days jail. After you're released from jail, 30 days on the alcohol tether. And you're also going to have increased testing. The court will not revoke your advisement status right now, and you're con to continue and complete all terms of probation. Your Honor, would it be possible oh. for my client to have a report date? She's appeared timely at all of her court proceedings. I don't envision her not uh, complying with this order of the court. Uh, I would ask that she have an opportunity to solidify arrangements with her employer. I'll give you today, ma'am. You have to report tomorrow. What time? You're going to contact probation. You're going to stop over there and you're going to, um, and they'll give you the information, but it will be tomorrow and not any later than 6 p.m. They will test you when you arrive. That's fine. That's fine. All right. Thank you. Your Honor, I do have my grandsons and I made obligations to get them back and forth to school for the week because my, grand my one grandson starts school tomorrow. Ma'am, I've given you enough concessions tomorrow. I'm not extending it any further. Thank you. Off the record. All right. Oh, thank you, counsel. I think that's all, right? Yes,